up everybody it's your girl cabria back with another video i know it has been ages since y'all last heard from me but i'm here now to kind of explain what exactly happened and just where i've been you all i know it's been since i want to say late summer september august time frame it's probably been more so august since y'all heard from me but wow uh, a lot has changed so let's just jump right into it um i don't know how you guys are feeling about the setup this is kind of i'm thinking going to be like my little talking setup from here on out because i do plan on making more videos um i did move into a new place we'll get into all that soon yeah you all i swear the last time we talked i think i i told you all that i had an art show coming up which i completely set up organized myself and it was amazing i felt so good on this day um it, i just remember it being summertime um my sister had moved out of my dad's house so i used her extra well i guess my dad's extra room now but her old room to kind of set up my art and then i had i think it was three of some family members that came and then my good best truest bluest friend Thaddeus Breckenridge he was in one of my other videos I think it's called like doing something strange for some change where we um I think that's where we did the debate but that was a good video if y'all want to go back and watch that that is one of my a1 day one friends I'm telling y'all he's going places and he's going there fast so that's somebody that I'm really, really just behind 100%, just supporting them in any direction they go in. He always does the same for me. We had a blast this summer, but I'm, I'm getting off. I'm getting off. Um, but yeah, back to the art show. It went really well. I sold a lot of my pieces. I'm going to try to insert some, I guess, at this point since I brought it up. But yes, this was a time period when... I was moving into a different phase with my art. I was realizing, hey, you don't have to just paint because you're sad and you're trying to get through something. You can actually use paint painting to express joy. You can use painting to, you know, just you know, get better at your skill. Like it doesn't just have to be I'm I'm using this as a coping mechanism because that's really what art was for me for a long time. It was the first thing I kind of picked up when my mom passed, and I always leaned on it for that reason after that. I mean, she she was still living when I had first started painting, and she supported it. And then it's like, as soon as I got into it, she passed away. So I just instantly started, like I said, using it as a coping mechanism. So that day the joy i felt being able to share my pieces with my family and then express what they meant to me um, and just coming to the realization that you know art doesn't just have to be for one purpose that's kind of the realization it, that hit me that day from that day i was like i'm going to share this last round of art and then i'm going to move on to some other pieces some pieces that make me feel good some colors that are that are bright you know things like that kind of went through my mind on that day and I sure took off from there y'all um I would like to share some newer pieces or you guys can go to my Instagram too that's always fun and see what I've been working on but my art has definitely been going in a more interesting and fun direction so after that y'all I'm really going in my memory bank I was very sad for some time because Thaddeus went back to school to rock out like he always does. And that was pretty much my main friend. I fell out with my girlfriend around the same time. Um, and I'm hoping we can reconnect soon, but she was one of my good friends that we always went hiking and stuff with. But I think, you know, growing pains, you take a break from people, you come back, you realize where you were wrong. And I think that we'll be able to do that soon. But during that time period, I was friendless, you know? I was kind of floating. I wasn't working like that. I was still doing my business and living off of what I made from my business, my handcrafted pieces, my uh, spiritual advising, things like that. And at that point, you know, business was starting to slow down. Like the fun of the summer was starting to 
trickle away and I was just realizing, yeah, like you're gonna have to get a job. You're gonna have to get something to supplement this. You're gonna have to start moonlighting aside of this so that you can just make it through, you know, sorry, oh, it is okay. Um, or is it? But I was like, yeah, you're gonna have to get a, a get a job, girl, to make it through. And I did my best, y'all. You know, I'm back in the mountains. There's not a lot of job opportunity around here. I've known that. That's why I wanted to leave. But here I am again. Thank you, COVID. Um, so at that point, you know, the goal became meeting my basic expenses, but also getting the hell up out of my dad's house. Because how did we end up here? If you would have showed me like a play by play of my life <laughs> this time last year and, and you would have told me that that's how things would have went down girl would have said you was crazy but there I was you know right back in my dad's house at the age of 25 at this time and I'm just like girl something has gone horribly wrong and it is a once in a century pandemic because there's no uh, there's no other logical explanation there were no other series of events that could have led you back to this besides a once in a century pandemic because y'all know how it is like living with your parents yeah all the love in the world it's great but it's just like when you've lived on your own and you you have your own way of doing things you just can't go back but i did and you know that's that became my next goal set was to get up out of there too financially so started working some basic jobs. First one just did not go well because I'm not even gonna get into it. Just know it. Just know I wasn't there, but for about two weeks, y'all. Um, and most of the time I end up having to leave jobs because they get to interfering with my business, which is always gonna be, that's just the one thing you can't take from me. You know what I'm saying? So anyways, um, went on to another job y'all this is when it gets to be much i can't even say this because you know this is for probably legal reasons i can't even say where i worked at anyways worked there things were going okay basic little job um overnight job i hope i'm not saying too much things were going okay you know i was well over qualified over qualified for the position, yes, but I still needed some money at the time. So I started looking for opportunities to move up immediately, like day one. I was like, is there any position office-wise I can move into? And there actually was one. So I ended up interviewing for it. I think it was like the next week. Got the promotion, blew them away, of course, like, of course. And then literally, y'all, a week after that was fired. So let me kind of give a little background. So there's there's this girl that would work there. And in order to do what I got to do, I'm still not trying to give too much away. You know, I got to stay in a particular place. And this person is supposed to stay in her particular place and not even interact with me. This person would constantly come in my space and other space. It wasn't just me. That's what I'm saying. Like, I pretty much... I pretty much took one for the team because I know people there had already had their own views of this person. And I feel like I pretty much, what's the word for it? Like a martyr. I pretty much was a martyr in that situation. Me getting fired was a martyr to get rid of this person. So I'm sure countless others had a better work experience after what happened. But anyways, so yeah, I um, ended up getting into it with this person just because it was a build up day after day. Um, end up getting into like a more so a verbal altercation with the person and I wish it would have been physical if I would have known what had oh my anyway oh my gosh anyway 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 but um yeah in a, in a verbal altercation got told that I was gonna be put on leave uh, pending the investigation and then they would decide what would happen after that or whatever and I was like okay cool you know I come back I'm under the impression that hey I'm I'm coming back like I got a promotion I'm about to be making more an hour and you know I'm about to get ready to move out like I'm good like yeah I know I'm coming back like we got into it but hey it couldn't have been that serious literally literally got the phone call like 
I want to say it was like four days. And during these four days, I'm just at the crib chilling, like just waiting to go back to work. Um, pretty much got the phone call just saying that I was fired. And that was the end of it. Like, I was just like, what now? Like now, if I thought I was stuck here, like I'm really stuck now. Like no source of income besides business. Like, and that was barely helping me, like I said, with the basics. So... I was like, yeah, girl, you are stuck. Like, you're going to figure this out. So not going to lie, like, I want to say two to three week long um, depression. Just being very sad at my dad's house. But my dad is so sweet, luckily. Like, he would always check on me in the mornings and stuff and make sure I was okay. And I'm not going to lie, y'all, like, there were some days when I was not okay. Like, I was really confused about my next direction in life, just really looking for a spiritual guidance, things like that. If y'all see me keep looking out the window, it's because it's snowing slash icing pretty bad. So I'm just kind of looking at my fate for tomorrow, but I'm, I promise I'm here with y'all. But yeah, I was, I was pretty sad. Um, felt really lost, felt in a rut very sad and um I don't even I don't even know what to say like there's not much to say like I had just pretty much lost all hope at that point like my birthday was around the corner I'm like girl you're not even about to have nothing going on for your birthday because COVID so no birthday to look forward to like no space of your own to be in no nothing like so pretty down um, and then I think it was maybe a week or two, I don't know, but some, somewhere in there, I decided to go get my license renewed because I had this inkling in my mind because every time before then that I had lost my license or that my license was expired, something about my own personal identity, my own life, like started to go left in a major way. So something in my mind was like, go get your, um, go get your license renewed. Like maybe that'll fix something, something about getting my license renewed because I had actually kind of did this own case study in my life. Like I said, where there were points when I couldn't find my license or I had lost my license partying or whatever in college. And then my life kind of went left weird, but I mean, maybe y'all should look into it. Anyways, I'm just having a horrible day all at the DMV getting my license renewed and I'm just feeling many types of ways. First of all, couldn't even get in the DMV because COVID. So they're like, you got to be here early. You got to be the first one here um, to get in line to get your COVID. Not to get your COVID, but to get your to get your space because everybody else has appointments. So if you're not an appointment, you got to get here early before we're only taking a certain amount of people, whatever. So I'm there early, 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 so early, y'all. And pretty much like it starts raining <laughs> and I'm just outside in the rain standing with like seven other people just hoping and praying to be able to be one of whoever amount that can get in and um something's like look at your license so I'm like looking at my license and I'm just like reflecting I guess and I'm like thinking about numerology for some odd reason I'm like I've been 25, you know, on my next birthday, I'll be 26. So I was like 25, 2, 5, 7. Um, and then I was like 26, 2, 6, 8. So I was like, right now I'm in a seven year. So I'm about to come into my eight year. So I started wondering like about what the number seven meant. And I'm just standing in the line, you all having this whole like, this whole <laughs> like epiphany thinking about numerology and stuff. And these people are just waiting in line like I am. And um, I was like, yeah, seven is like kind of kind of like a spiritual development period, like having to really find your way. Um, it can it can be hardship, spiritual, spiritual development that comes across. I mean, that comes about as a result of hardship, um, finding your new path. Just really, I can't stress enough, like hardship that's meant to bring spiritual development. So I was like, OK, cool birthday coming up so it, this was like November at this time so I was like my eight year eight is prosperity wealth improvement growth expansion like I was like I'm coming into that so 
kind of in that moment in the line when I was kind of like, yeah, this is like my rock bottom. I was like, wait a minute, things are about to shift. Like if we look at numerology and we looking at, you know, just kind of the way things have gone all of 2020, like my win is coming. Like that's pretty much how I looked at it. So yeah, I swear y'all things just went up. After that, I had a conversation with my best friend, Emily. Um, Y'all need to check out her podcast as well. I'm going to try to link it somewhere on here. She's amazing. We met in college and we are still sisters to this day. Love her. And um, she she really supported me so much throughout all this. I can't stress this enough. Um, Yeah, we had some enlightening conversations and she was just with me the whole way through. And I was like, yeah, girl, I feel like something's about to happen with me. And literally, y'all, like a week after that, my sister had actually started a job, which is funny because I actually lost the past job because of my sister, long story, but actually had lost the past job because of my sister. Like she kind of escalated the situation with old girl and then it kind of went to that level. But you know, it doesn't even matter now. And uh, my sister started working somewhere and she, I guess, felt so bad because I was so depressed and it was kind of like she played into it that she had ended up asking her company like if they had any openings for somebody like me pretty much, like somebody that had like a degree, somebody that had experience with said, said, and said. And um, they actually did. And I ended up getting a call from them, y'all, for this job that is local and ended up paying like double what I was making anywhere before the pandemic even started. So that is just a blessing. We just gonna go ahead and take a minute to be grateful for, cause y'all know I didn't had to do it every day since then. Since then I have been nothing but grateful for the way things turn around. Like that's what I call a turn of events right there, y'all. That's what I call a turn of events. So literally from there, y'all started this job. Um, I won't say too much about it either because it's actually in healthcare, which is weird. My degree is in journalism, but I do quite a bit of writing with this job. Um, but it's actually like a healthcare kind of counseling job. Um, I'm working as a qualified intellectually disabled professional. And I have a lot of responsibility with this job and I have had to learn a lot in general just about um, not just not just um, like intellectual disabilities but procedures involving them protocols involving them um, how to help in those situations um, or situations where I should say like they might have a behavior related to their intellectual disability how to calm them how to soothe them um, and then also management, because I'm over two staffs of people, y'all, and I have never been nobody's boss. I have had some of the worst bosses in my <laughs> experience, so I try to be the best uh, boss that I can be to my staff. Um, but I'm, I'm learning the challenges associated with leadership in that way. Like, I've never, never been in that position, so I'm learning in that regard, too. Um, got a new place, y'all. I'm going to try to put a tour somewhere in the video. I might do it like, I don't know. Maybe I'll put it right here. I don't know. We'll see.
But um, yeah, I love my new place, y'all. It is so peaceful. It's actually in the building I lived in before when I first moved back to my hometown. But it's upstairs, and I actually like the upstairs units a thousand times more than the downstairs. Um, I really do feel like I got me a little condo in the mountains. I kind of kind of get in that vibe from it. Um, I'm really at peace here. I have so much space for all my business, and I can work from home in comfort. I can have guests over in comfort, you know, within COVID restriction. Um, I'm just very happy here, so grateful. And it's like you appreciate your own space so much more when you had to literally fight for it. That was something I definitely took for granted. I've always had my own apartment since I left home for school. And yeah, I will never again take just the simplest, the simplest thing of having your own space. That is such a blessing. And I hope that we all take some time to, to give some appreciation for that. Um, besides that, yeah, in my new place, I'm working full time, doing my business still. My business is doing pretty well. Hoping to do some new things with that once this retrograde is over. And yeah, I just, I couldn't be happier, you all. I could not be happier. I'm feeling very blessed, very aware of all my blessings at this time. And I will never forget them after everything I went through. Um, yeah, I don't know what else to say, guys. I'm going to be sharing a lot more because I've missed my YouTube so much. Um, I want to keep getting on here and talking about astrology. I want to keep getting on here and talking about, I mean, just whatever we need to discuss at this point, because I'm back. I'm excited to be back on here. And yeah, I'm happy to interact with you guys. I'm so glad you guys have been rocking with me since I started this channel. So, I mean, I, I couldn't really ask for better. Um, I'm so grateful for you all. And I'm glad we can connect again. If you guys have any concepts, astrological and even beyond that you guys want me to speak on let me know um i'm happy to you guys can hit me up on social media you can hit me up in the comments whatever works for you you guys sometimes find me on social media and i actually love that because i can kind of see what y'all are on to but i'm about to wrap this video up y'all i hope that kind of gives y'all an update of what has been going on because it has been crazy and i look forward to hearing from you all soon bye